Hi everybody, this is Dan Talk Sense, and today I'm going to be doing a review of a fragrance called Rehab by the House of Inicio Parfums. Now I've heard from many in Fragcom that this is like a niche version of Spice Bomb by Victor and Ralph. Now Spice Bomb is a fragrance that I love, I own a number of bottles of it, so I'm really excited to smell this and to see how it compares to Spice Bomb. In today's review, I'm going to tell you how it performs throughout the day, what it smells like, how the scent develops, and whether I think that it's worth its hefty price tag. So if you want to know more about Rehab by Inicio Parfums, please stay tuned. Everybody, welcome back. So today, first of all, I just want to thank a member of Fragcom, one of my subscribers, and another fellow YouTube reviewer. He's called the Perfumer Professor 101. His name is Carl. And he kindly sent me a decant of Inicio uh, Parfums um, fragrance rehab in the post. So if you can see that close on camera, this is an official decant from their website. Um, so really pleased that Cole sent me this. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm a huge fan of Spice Bomb. Um, I own two vintage bottles, actually three, but one of them's at work. So these are vintage ones, very sweet and lovely um, and I also own a more modern version of Spice Bomb um, as well which I don't think performs quite as well as the older batches but I am going to do a video on how they compare more modern to uh, older batches but let's get on to the fragrance that I want to review today and that's Rehab. Now with all my fragrance reviews I'm not going to look at the notes, but as I mentioned in the intro, many in Fragcom have mentioned that Rehab is a very close to Spice Bomb, but like on a higher level of quality. There has been a discussion with myself and fellow fragrance YouTube reviewers about the term niche quality because niche um, doesn't always mean quality. I've smelled a number of niche fragrances recently that have not performed on my skin enough and I felt that they were quite synthetic which is not what you'd expect from a niche fragrance. Now there's only a little bit left in this um, decant but there should be enough to get an idea of what this fragrance is about. The climate in the UK is about 14 degrees so it's a lot cooler than it has been. It looks like it's going to rain today. It's perfect conditions to um, try this fragrance. Now, if you're wondering why I'm shining so much on camera, I've moisturised my skin. I think it's really important to moisturise your skin because if, you, if you're dehydrated, your skin's dry, it will drink up the fragrance. Um, and randomly, I use baby oil, just as does very own baby oil, just to moisturise my arms because it, it's not really um, scented, it hasn't got a really strong um, smell to it, but it locks in the moisture in my skin. And I've found that since using... Um, baby oil and um, that it's actually um, helped fragrances perform longer on my skin. I've also drunk a lot of water this morning and um, for the same reasons I think that's really important because sometimes fragrances don't perform when you're because of your dehydrated and it just sucks it up and it's a shame um, but I'll see how I get on with this I'm really really excited about um, smelling rehab so here we go first impressions So one on the wrist there. So in the elbow joints, I think I will put them back of the neck as well. Now immediately, 100%, it smells like older versions of Spice Bomb. Now, if, you've, um, if you're a Spice Bomb fan like myself, the versions between 2012 and 2015, for me, were a lot sweeter um, as they the ones after 2015 I think they added a little bit more spice a little bit more um, cinnamon into them um, the older ones for me perform a lot better and when I smell this it smells just like the uh, the older versions of Spice Bond so from the years 2012 to 2015 that's what it smells like now, from smelling initially, I can't, it doesn't appear to me to be of a, a huge difference in quality. 
for me, Spice Bomb um, has always had a real good quality to it. It's a designer fragrance, but I think it's done really well. But immediately I know that it's a fragrance that I'm going to really enjoy wearing. It's right up my street and the type of fragrance that I like wearing. So in the elbows, um, it doesn't smell synthetic or anything, which I'm pleased because of the price tag and everything else. But very sweet, um, just like Spice Bomb. And I can see the comparisons immediately. I get them. Now, what's important is I, I get across to you how the, the fragrance develops throughout the day, if it performs, if I can smell the scent bubble around me. So I'm going to do that today. So I'm going to head out to the shops. Um, I'm going to um, see how what the scent bubble's like. Maybe I might get a compliment. You never know. Um, but I'll come back to the house later on and I'll give you a conclusion what I think. But so far, so good. It's not like straight away I'm like wow this is um, niche um, amazing quality but I get a comparison to Spice Bomb and the, the scent itself is beautiful really really like it so I'll let you know how I get on I'll be speaking to you all very soon now I've been wearing rehab now for a good three hours and I've looked at base notes and I'm really surprised that it only has one note which matches with Spice Bomb and that's bergamot at the top and this is really sweet it's a beautiful fragrance but make no mistake about it this is very similar to the original spice bomb and i like to call it vintage spice bomb from 2012 to 2015. now in terms of performance and projection this is a decent projection like i'm getting it the scent bubble around me and performance wise it's still going after four hours so really pleased so far um, and I'll fill you in, uh, give you a conclusion when I get back into the house uh, about whether I think you should buy it. According to base notes, we have bergamot in the top, lavender and tobacco in the heart, and in the base we have vetiver, cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, gaiac wood, sandalwood and musk. So I've been wearing um, Rehab all day now, I'd say about six hours, and there are some notable differences between Rehab and Spice Bomb. Now, when I talk about Spice Bomb, I do mean the earlier batches between 2012 and 2015. So my one is 38M701. I'll just bring that to the camera and I hope you can see that on there. Now, the difference between earlier batches of Spice Bomb and more modern ones is that I believe these are a lot sweeter. And I'm sure many people will, will know the, that as well by owning both bottles, newer batches and older batches. A lot sweeter, performs a lot better, and it's very similar to Rehab. Now, what I think um, Initio Parfums have done is took the DNA of Spice Bomb and they've used higher quality um, ingredients or, you know, chemicals to make it a higher quality product. But if I compare the two, I think it's important to first of all go on performance. So I can still smell rehab now on myself and I've been wearing it for most of the day. So I'd say it's above average performance. Projection, I would have to say that Spice Bomb has better projection um, rehab had above average projection. I could smell a decent scent bubble around me. I'd probably say it was about uh, maybe two meters. Um, I could smell it whiffs a bit when I was going around the shops and it did feel good wearing this fragrance. In terms of the scent, it's absolutely beautiful. I really enjoyed wearing it. But in terms of it being unique, I can't really say that because Spice Bomb was launched in 2012 and this was launched in 2018. When we go to the price, I mentioned earlier that I got the decant off car and it would have come from the website. Um, when I looked into that, you can't buy um, Initio Rehab directly from the company, but I know that you can buy it from Selfridges, um, Harrods, and um, there was Harvey Nicks as well. You can buy it from their shops in the UK and you can buy it from. It's, some, it's quite difficult if you live in small towns like i live in a place called talford in shropshire um, so the nearest place to to get a fragrance like this physically in person would be birmingham um, but you can buy them offline i believe um, but it's priced at 195 pounds for 90 mils is that worth the price in my view i would say no because I would probably price it at just over £100. If I if I really thought about it, I think it should be priced at just over £100. I think you push it on to £200, um, I think that's a bit overpriced, in my opinion. 
Um, you could be like me where you're happy to search for vintage bottles of Spice Bomb. I know some people won't trust eBay and they don't want to do that. I can fully understand that. It's not, you don't want to waste money and buy fakes, but I'm happy to scroll through um, eBay and I've picked up some vintage bottles of Spice Bomb and really enjoy wearing them because they do perform really, really well. So my conclusion, do I think that you should buy it? Well, to make that conclusion, I think rehab is, you can tell it's, use more expensive chemicals in there. The difference is, is that you've got this nice sandalwood uh, in the base that makes it more of a creamier uh, fragrance. Spice Bomb has got the pep and it comes across more sharper. Because I already own a number of bottles of Spice Bomb, um, I don't think that I'd go out and buy a bottle of Rehab. But if you like the Spice Bomb DNA, but you want something that um, smells more, um, better blended, uh, and it does smell more expensive, you haven't got the harshness of the pepper, then I think you should um, invest in it. Um, but if you, like me, you like that pepper and you like the tobacco, I mean, what brings to my mind, what comes to my mind when I smell Spice Bomb is an alcoholic drink called Captain Morgan Spice. Um, I love drinking that drink. Um, I, I actually like the smell. I think it's a, a lovely drink and that's what comes to my mind. I like the tobacco note. I like other fragrances with tobacco in them. And I think that I was just missing that note in, in Rehab. But in general, Rehab is a really well put together fragrance. It's not unique, of course. Um, it's got above average performance and projection. Um, but for me, because I already own a number of bottles of Spice Bomb, I don't think I'll go out and buy it. What I was hoping for was that it would have um, maybe better projection um, where I had a massive sillage and scent bubble. And I would think, actually, yeah, I do want to go out and buy that because I love the scent DNA. Now, if any of you out there have, have wore um, rehab before, you own it and you own Spice Bomb, let me know how you think they compare whether you think it's worth buying rehab if you already own Spice Bomb. Um, I'd really like to know your comments because it's interesting to see because on Fragantica, the general thing is that there are a lot of people that can smell the higher quality in rehab and um, so they think it's worth purchasing but then the other half of people think no, it's, it's not worth it. I'd rather just stick with Spice Bomb. So um, let me know your thoughts. Um, leave your comments down below. If you haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe because I've got a lot more of this uh, type of content um, coming along where I'm going to be reviewing niche fragrances, more expensive ones, but also I'm going to let you know um, of clones that I'm aware of that smell like more expensive fragrances. And I do plan to head out into the Shropshire countryside and film more beautiful locations behind me. So thank you for watching today. Hope you enjoyed that video and I'll be speaking to you all very soon.